from this Krusty the Clown minifigure that literally got banned to this Luffy minifigure that actually looks surprisingly real. These are 24 of the craziest banned Lego knockoffs. This Simpsons minifigure was actually available back in 2014, but after Lego Simpsons got discontinued in 2018, people have been making a bunch of fake ones. For that reason alone, they definitely deserve to be banned. But don't worry, I'll talk more about that later on in this video. Instead, I want to talk about cars. Lego is known to have some of the best models of licensed race cars, and their competitors aren't even comparable. This is a car from a company called Hawk Blocks, and this thing is just straight up embarrassing. The spoiler on the back and the four randomly placed exhaust pipes remind me of cars I drew when I was like four years old. But worse than that are the colors. They're completely random, and it honestly hurts my eyes just to look at them. Another thing that's easy to tell by looking at this picture is the quality of the bricks. They look so cheap that a grown man would probably be able to break one in half. This thing is just all around not good, but it's got nothing on some of the other knockoffs in this video. Up next is a company called Make It Blocks, and if there's anything good to say about them, it's that they at least got the colors right. Sold in Dollar Tree stores, Make It Blocks costs $1.25 for a set of 25 pieces. That's 5 cents a piece, which is still a little expensive considering an authentic piece of Lego costs about 10 cents on average. Design-wise, the battle tank on the left and the fighter jet on the right don't look that bad, but someone actually left a review of these sets and apparently had a lot of trouble putting it together. Some pieces need a lot of force just to put them together, but even then they don't stay in place really well and they don't even stay flush with the rest of the set. But that isn't all. Some pieces are super hard to put together, but others are nearly impossible to take apart. However, there is one upside. These pieces fit perfectly with actual Lego pieces, which in the end makes this knockoff a little less embarrassing, but still pretty bad nonetheless. Up next is a set that's honestly just disappointing. Trust me, after seeing the next one, you'll need to wash your eyes out. This set is called Minecrafts, and if it wasn't obvious enough, it's based on Minecraft. I don't even know what's worse, the name of the manufacturer, the name of the set, or the set itself. The manufacturer is called QS08, which sounds and looks really disturbing somehow. But worst of all is definitely the Pumpkin Man. I can see here that we have a skeleton figure, as well as an Enderman, but what in the world is this figure with a pumpkin face? I've never seen anything like this in Minecraft before, so if you have, let me know what it is down in the comments. Just when you think these knockoffs can't get any worse, you see this. A fire rescue helicopter set made by Bonbao. Design-wise, this set isn't that bad, but the longer you look at it, the more you'll notice how much is actually wrong with it. Let's start with the fact that the sirens on the helicopter are the wrong color. Blue sirens are only used on police vehicles, and since this helicopter is with the fire department, they really don't belong here. That's a little nerdy though, so why don't we look at something more obvious. These minifigures are just awful. Not only are their bodies proportioned really weirdly, but the faceplate is honestly just creepy. I don't know. If you ask me, this set is just downright cursed, so let's move on from it. Have you guys heard of the LEGO Legends of Chima theme? It was a super popular LEGO theme from the early 2000s that a lot of people miss. In fact, it got so popular that LEGO even made a TV series inspired by the theme back in 2013. In case you missed out on it, I have the perfect set for you. This is the Legends of Chima Eagles Castle set, made by Bella. It's only 12 bucks, so I wasn't kidding when I said you could get it. When you compare this thing to a real LEGO Chima set, it doesn't look bad at all, until you open the box. For 12 bucks, the quality of bricks in this set is definitely not that good. But hey, at least you got to experience Legends of Chima, right? If that isn't good enough for you though, I might have a better option. I'm kidding, it's actually way worse. This is a set from the same company, but instead of being Legends of Chima, it's actually Legends of Chimo. This set is a really bad copy of the Lego Chima's Speed Wars set. The original Lego set isn't that expensive. It costs about $10, so I don't really see a point in making a knockoff version of this set. But what do I know? I'm just a guy who likes talking about Lego. Up next is a set based on the game Rainbow Friends. This is what the original Rainbow Friends Lego set looks like, and this is what the knockoff looks like. Even though these figures are promoted as authentic, they are far from it, and it isn't hard to figure that out. All you have to do is type Rainbow Friends blocks in your search bar, and you'll get a bunch of websites selling eight figures for around 15 bucks. Even though they look absurd, especially when compared to the authentic figures, that price makes them a little less embarrassing, I guess. Up next is a set from a company called Click Brick. Their claim to knock off fame was with these truck sets, which don't look that bad, but they don't look that good either. The company has the word brick in its name for a reason though. Everything they make looks like a brick. 
These sets are relatively cheap, costing around $10 to $15, and apparently the pieces are compatible with other major brands too. I guess since LEGO truck sets can get pretty expensive, these are an okay alternative. At the very least, there's something to look at. For this next segment, I want to ask you guys a question. What do you get when you hire good designers with bad taste? Well, you get Ryan's World 6-in-1 car set. This set can be made into a hot rod, a dune buggy, or even a spy robot, which is really random. But this isn't even my problem with the set. My problem problem is that the bricks are see-through. I don't know. I feel like when it comes to bricks, there are very specific times when you can use see-through bricks but that's it. This set is not only embarrassing, but it's also not even worth buying since it costs $65. Remember that Simpsons minifigure from before? Well, that one is actually real. Lego Simpsons was a real Lego theme once upon a time, and it lasted for four whole years. In that time, Lego released a lot of sets and minifigures under the theme, and since The Simpsons is so popular, a lot of people bought them. This was all the way back in 2014 though, which means The Simpsons theme has been retired since 2018. That's six years ago now. Since then, a lot a lot of knockoff manufacturers have been making everything from Lego Simpsons. They've made loads of sets and a bunch of minifigures too. Since Lego Simpsons was actually a thing, these knockoffs definitely deserve to be banned. They've caused a lot of confusion over the years, making some people think Lego Simpsons never actually existed. I have faith in you, Lego. Get rid of these ones. Up next is a set from a long lost show called Stargate SG-1. The series first aired in 1997, and it was an inspiration for a Lego set. Now, the only problem was that this set wasn't made by Lego, but by a company called Best Lock. Best Lock made a few Stargate sets, but one called Jack and Daniel Off World is by far one of the worst. This particular set released back in 2012, and it comes with 110 pieces. At the time the set was released, it wasn't a bad deal. Even though we've seen worse, this set still looks pretty bad, and the quality is awful. But for a price of $5, it's a steal. At least it used to be. These days, this thing sells for like 50 bucks, and there's no way I'm paying that much for a knockoff Lego. Set. Up next is a knockoff set for the Lego Friends theme. This is the Beauty Shop set, and it's actually made by that company Bella from before, but it's way better than what I showed you earlier. What's crazy about this set is that if you put it next to a real Lego Friends set, there's barely any difference. Even crazier than this, people who bought the Bella set said that the quality of bricks for the price they paid is actually pretty good. But if you thought about buying one of these, I'd go ahead and toss that idea out the window. Last year, the Bella factory was raided for making sets without licenses. They were completely shut down and had everything taken away from them, meaning that every set from Bella actually is banned. Up next is a set from one of the oldest Lego knockoff companies ever. And even though they're super old, their sets still suck. This is the fire set from a company called Kogo. The set features a firefighter putting out the fire on a burning porta potty. But this guy isn't your ordinary firefighter. Instead of a fire truck, he's driving a motorcycle, which means he had to carry the hose all on his own. Overall, the set looks pretty bad, but considering it costs less than $4, I guess it's not that bad. This next company, though, might make even worse sets than Kogo. I don't really know what I was expecting, though. Their slogan is literally build a lot, pay a little. This is their three in one multi pack set featuring three emergency vehicles, one for police, one for firefighters, and one for the military. The police one looks the worst out of the three, but the military one actually looks pretty dope. According to one reviewer, the pieces don't feel as cheap as he expected, but they don't click together easily and the colors don't match. You can find these things at Dollar Tree if you're really fanning for some knockoff Lego. Up next is probably one of the best looking knockoff minifigures on the market right now. This is a Lego Luffy minifigure from the hit anime One Piece. One Piece has been around for over 20 years, but LEGO hasn't collabed with them yet, so this thing is definitely fake. For the price though, it actually looks really good. You can pick this thing up for 5 bucks over at Dell's Bricks, so if you're a One Piece fan and want to add some LEGO to your collection, this guy is perfect. This next knockoff though is seriously one of the worst in this video. Just look at this. This is what official LEGO minions look like. And then this is how their knockoffs look. Are you serious right now? This figure is made by a company called Jin Run. And unfortunately, this isn't the only minion minifigure they've made. There's more of them. They don't even have the minion's body. Like, what's the point? And the fact that you can only buy them on AliExpress makes this whole situation worse. This is one of those knockoffs that you can't help but laugh at. 
Like literally, what is this stuff? Not every knockoff is that bad though, especially when they're making stuff for Lego Star Wars. These are Luke Skywalker and Obi-Wan Kenobi minifigures from a company called Bomb Bomb. And at first glance, I couldn't even tell these were fake. Now, obviously the packaging is a dead giveaway, but the minifigures themselves actually look really good. The hair pieces, face plates, and even the hands all look super accurate. What really tied this together though, were the blasters. If those don't look like actual Lego Star Wars blasters, then nothing does. I mean, they're literally perfect. Honestly though, these minifigures deserve to be banned. We can't have fakes this good running around on the Lego market. Where there are good knockoff minifigures though, there will also be bad ones. Here we have three minifigs. Each of them were made by a different company, and all of these companies have a really weird name. The first one is Lego, like Lego with an A, JLB, and LEBQ. The Lego figure features Wolverine, and on the package it looks pretty good, but this is what you actually get. Not so great. JLB is the worst of all though. On the package, we have a picture of Anna from Frozen, but if we zoom in on the bottom left corner, we can see what's waiting for us when we open the package. I don't know if this is more funny or embarrassing, but lastly, LEBQ made a knockoff minifigure of Honey Lemon, and honestly, it's just awful. Once again, if we zoom in on the package, we get to see what she actually looks like. I don't know what it is with these knockoff companies, but packaging isn't everything, guys. The actual product needs to be good too. After those three minifigures, we need something a little better. So I present to you Lepin, one of the best LEGO Star Wars manufacturers ever. It's known for two things, decent quality and amazing prices. For example, Lepin's Star Wars Millennium Falcon costs about $150, while LEGO's authentic Millennium Falcon costs a whopping $850. Lepin's set for the given price looks good enough. It's nowhere near as detailed as the one from LEGO, but then again, what do you expect for $150? If you were to put these two next to each other, you would see a huge difference and think that Lepin's Millennium Falcon shouldn't exist. But if you're on a budget, this thing is really good. After going over a decent set, it's time to get back to those that make your eyes burn. Here we have Spider-Man on a bike, and the set is called Street King, made by a company called Brick. Yeah, it's literally just Brick. I bet the owner of this company brags all the time that they got a good name and all the other companies didn't. But that changes nothing, because this set proves that his company shouldn't exist at all. First of all, why would Spider-Man need a motorbike when he can swing in between skyscrapers? Second of all, does the packaging really need to say handsome appearance? I mean, come on guys, out of every word in the English language, you pick those two. But third and worst of all, this thing is just flat out ugly. You'd think with a name like Brick, the company would at least be able to make some good sets. But I guess not everything is meant to be. Especially when it comes to wrestling. If you're a fan of WWE, close your eyes for a second. Here we have a well-known ringside WWE set. And at first glance, it seems pretty cool. But the more you look at it, the more embarrassed you feel. The ring and the arena itself look pretty good. But then you look at the figures and you just get disappointed. I mean, they look like Roblox characters. They tried to save it a little bit with the add-ons around the arena, but they only made things worse. John Cena's garage on the right and the figure on the left explaining human evolution are pretty concerning. Learning. Even with all of this though, to be honest, the set still looks pretty good. I couldn't find any reviews and I doubt the quality is that good, but that doesn't change how it looks. And in the end, that's what matters most with anything Lego. Up next is probably the most embarrassing knockoff in this whole video. This set was made by a company called May Lego, and in all honesty, these guys have no idea what they're doing. The name of this set is Superhero 2 Age of Ultron, but if you stop and think for a second, you might realize something. Superman is in this set, a hero from DC, and Age of Ultron is a movie from Marvel. These guys got their superhero universes completely mixed up. That's embarrassing enough on its own, but the fact that they put Superman, a guy who can literally fly on a motorbike, might be even worse. Up next, we have another abomination. I don't know why, but every time I see the Simpsons in 3D, they look super weird to me. Even the original Lego Simpsons minifigures look awful in 3D. But when I saw this knockoff, I somehow started liking the Lego ones. They're made by JLB, the same company that made the Anna Disney Princess knockoff from before. That alone speaks for itself, so let's move on to the next item. Last but certainly not least on my list, I present to you one of the most cursed LEGO knockoffs in all of creation, the Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse mecha set. These guys have never looked worse. The set doesn't come with that many pieces, so the mechs really don't look that good, and the dark windows aren't helping at all. For some reason, this company decided to give Donald Duck miniguns for hands and Mickey Mouse missiles on top of his hands. I'm not really sure what the thought process was here, but it's safe to say these things are terrible. What was your favorite knockoff in this video? Be sure to let me know down in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe.